Danny Lightning back with another video. So if you guys want to have a really great sounding live stream that gives your viewers a really nice listening experience, this is very, very, very important. If you're live streaming on OBS Studio, there are two plugins or filters that you absolutely need to run no matter what. And if you're not running these, you might be giving your listeners a really bad listening experience. So you should always run a compressor and you should always run a limiter. We're not really going to show you how to set these up, but we're going to explain what they do and why you need to run them in this video. I do have some other videos on my channel that show you how to set up compressors and limiters, but this video will make you understand why it's so unbelievably important to compress and limit when you're live streaming. What so doesn't really matter if you're using the stock filters built into OBS or aftermarket plugins like I am, but you have to compress and you have to limit. So this is what my voice sounds like with the compressor and the limiter turned on. And let me go ahead and turn those off really quick. So now we have the limiter and the compressor turned off and this is how I sound. I'm using the limiter to boost my volume and I'm using the compressor to make sure I don't blow out your eardrums. So let's just say I'm playing Call of Duty and I get upset and I go, oh no crap sandwiches, what the heck, oh no. Well, I didn't just break out your eardrums and my microphone shouldn't have distorted. So what we're doing is we're using a compressor to turn down the really loud parts. That way when I start screaming, it turns that part down to the same volume as my normal speaking voice and it doesn't just destroy your ears. I don't know how many times I've been watching somebody's live stream and they don't have their microphone volume at the right level. It's actually pretty low. You got to crank your device way up. And next thing you know, they start screaming and everybody's ripping off their headphones going, oh my God, he destroyed my ears. Nobody nobody wants to deal with that so that's where the compressor comes in i'm currently using the waves rvox compressor which is probably the simplest easiest compressor i've ever seen you basically just pull this little bar down until you see that red line moving just a little bit on your speaking voice and you're good to go you don't want to see it coming down very far on your speaking voice because you don't want it to really compress your speaking voice just the louder part so once you see just a little bit of movement but bam you got that set up perfectly and that's all you really got to do for that one. I will put a link in the video's description and in the pinned comment to waves.com where you can get some really awesome affordable plugins. They are better than the ones that come with OBS, but if you don't want to buy aftermarket ones, the ones on OBS do work just fine. Now there is a free plugin called Studio Rack by Waves, which allows you to use all your other Waves plugins on OBS Studio. So make sure you download that before you buy any Waves plugins, but most Wave plugins are pretty darn affordable. And then we're taking the Waves WLM plus loudness meter with true peak limiting and we're using this to push our volume to the max so if you watch a little loudness meter on your streaming software you never want that little bar to fly off the end and go past zero or your microphone is going to clip and distort so what this is doing is pushing us to the max volume and every, anytime we get louder than that zero, it's going to turn us down additionally to make sure we just don't clip and distort. So if I were to over limit or over compress, let's go ahead and do that right now. You're going to notice that this sounds really bad. I start to sound very squished, very horrible and very unnatural. So you don't want to limit too much. You don't want to compress too much. If you notice this little, this little line here is where I have my thing set to limit. And my normal speaking voice should never hit that or very, very rarely hit that. Now, if you look at this other little bar right here, every time you see orange, that means it's actually turning me down because I went just a little bit too loud. So you want to find a nice balance. I want to see like my voice average around minus five. Like my speaking voice should probably average around minus five. That gives me another like couple of decibels to get a little bit louder when I talk. And then when I scream the compressor and the limiter, just turn me down and make sure I don't get too loud, don't destroy your ears, and this will give your listeners a much, 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 much better listening experience overall. So you should always compress, always limit, no matter what. Run the compressor first. The limiter should always be the last thing on your vocal chain. All right, so there we have it. That should explain why it's so important to compress and limit. A lot of people don't do this and their streams are really quiet or they're too loud in their clipping or they're blowing out your ears or there's loud, quiet, loud, quiet. Your viewers don't like that. Your viewers want a good, nice listening experience and compression and limiting will give them that for sure. But I think that's going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. If you drop down the video's description or check out the pinned comment, you'll see some links to some really awesome stuff, some ways to help support the channel, and all kinds of good stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.